Hello and welcome back to friends, it's me Odo. We are back in the River Kingdoms, in the Lost Kingdom, or however we want to call it, in the, uh, with Papa the Kingmaker. We are with Slartibart Fast and a gang of stupidly uninteresting people <laughs> in a dwarven fortress and we just killed a lot of trolls and I just opened two and one of them held a tome and a key. I hope we can do something with them. Okay, let's read the tome. The tome is made of a high quality parchment and bound in a good leather, but it's torn apart and stained with mud. Most of the pages are missing. There is an inscription on the inner part of the cover written by a steady hand. This journal belongs to Rodwick Langbuck, the fourth commandant, commandant of the Bronze Shield Fortress. Erastus 4498. Today my father Unter Langbuck has handed me the command over the Bronze Shield Fortress and headed home to the Five Kings Mountains. He said he's become too old and hoped to die in his old place, in his homeland mines, not in this toric forgotten land. He's left his post and many of the defenders disapproved, but as for me, I don't blame him. I gave him my last farewells and returned to the fortress, which is mine from now on. Lot of cards on the road. Namashan 4498 Carry grains, vegetables, meat. Lamashan is a good month. Troll. Tolls this month always bring good profits, even when the year is poor. Too bad that's not enough to compensate for everything we spend on food during the other months. Otherwise, we could make the annual balance zero at least. Road of Shields has made us bankrupt. For 300 years now, our three clans have guarding, have been guarding human lives at our own expense. Corona 4498. Even the winter is not a real winter in this godforsaken land. When was the last time I saw the snow? I mean real snow, like home in the Five King, Kings Mountains. Not this pathetic use for snow which falls here from time to time. Local villagers could have gathered four harvests this year if they weren't so lazy and worked a trifle harder. The winter is too weak in river kingdoms. Damned rivers don't freeze hard enough for our road to be able to compete with them. Best trade routes. What was King Talric thinking when he ordered the construction of an overland road in a place called the River Kingdoms? Well, maybe he thought of fame for the dwarven people, dreaming of regaining our former glory. Maybe he hoped that the locals would abandon river routes infested by pirates for the safety of our track, with its fortresses and watchtowers. At least I know for sure what our grandfathers and fathers were thinking, that too many resources and too much effort had already been invested in this road to just abandon the project. They were hoping something would change and the gold would flow to our pocket steady stream, like King Pelric had promised. So they just went on spending our money, efforts, years, and lives. <laughs> He's not very, uh, he's not very, um, what it called, optimistic. Dwarves are patient, but there is a limit to every patience. The treasury of the Langbuck clan is almost empty, and I know for sure that the Wara Duchess and Yeges are doing no better than we are. It's ridiculous and bitter to recollect. While building this fortress, our ancestors had made several secret rooms to store the future immeasurable treasures. It's impossible to deny it. We were the last generation of the old shields. If some wonder fails to happen in the near future, we'll have to return to the Five Kings Mountains in shame. 
Farast 4499. Disturbing news from Rostland. Hordes of barbarians plunder its lands. Sword lords beg for help. No one is able to give them. We scarcely have enough resources to keep garrisons at the fortresses. If Rostland falls, what happens to the trade? Who in the whole world will need the shield road? The rest of the pages are missing. Okay, we'll find the second half and see how the kingdom will order the well, kingdom, but the um, quiet footsteps. Um, There is something ahead, I'm pretty sure about that. How about the trap? Oh, kobolds. I knew that. And the door. Ooh. Time to rob them of their treasures. <sighs> Dog, move here. Will they ever learn? Nope. Ooh, there is a troll hound. Yeah, of course. Figuring. Me. Cannot hide from me. Make a fuck. Really, two, two ones in a row? <laughs> That's not okay. Oh, come on. Bring it. Don't hit my poor dog. That's that. Your life ebbs low. Yeah. Use of my talents. That's this troll hound. Yay. Let us strike as one. Do not falter. Ah, oh, come on. That's because there is still no this. Troll hound lying on the floor, I'm pretty sure about that. Ooh. More troll hounds. More troll hounds. Interesting. Death awaits. Oh, that's nice. Tear them apart. Waste. Oh, this was a Kondayo. I thought this was a Kondayo. Dog kill. This one. Kill. 
We don't have any... Oh, there is still a troll hound, not dead. Okay, Ekundayu, you also need the bow that is doing um, at least acid and something. Okay. Ah. Amiri, kill. Yay. Great. That's just great. Another round of interesting No, not connect all. Lost this arm. Come on. Do your best. Success. Yay. Ooh, nice view. More key steel. Yeah, let's. We found the balcony. Yay. Ooh. 
it's the Ah, there are some runes on it. F rune? An M rune? Or free? A fish? And a uh, set? Okay, we don't know what to do with that yet. So let's just ignore it for a while. Yeah. Not, not room D. Pro fire permanent. Ah, yeah. Of course. He's a ranger. Ooh. Everything has a price. I'll loot your corpse. I will protect. I grant you death. What manner of country is this? Where is the I'm lavish missing. dining? The festivals? Place barely merits a footnote in my compendium. What you want? Mm -hmm. Okay. Kiss your life goodbye. Nice shot. Let's see. Oh, I totally forgot you still have oh this. Of course, Amiri. You're so great. I mean stupid. I am stupid. I I forgot all of this of the rage abilities. Now that we are nearly done with this side of the Can castle. And we'll do some resting afterwards. So, what can you do? Shield is such a stupid spell for you. Do you know that? Probably you'll know that. Ha, primitives. Oh, come on. Hit someone else. Stab their backs. Let us fly as one. Mm -hmm. They go down. Really? Become as dust. <laughs> Nowhere to run. Just exposed. Mm -hmm. Nice. Will they ever learn? Nope, they won't. Do not falter. Really, Amiri, shame on you. Come on, dog, show them how to hit this. Yeah, good dog, good dog. Well, Ikondayo has some advantage on trolls because they are his fav favorite enemy. But as you can see, we don't hit either. <laughs> 
So this is a round of non-hitting. <sighs> this was not a fine use of your talent. Your death awaits. Onward! I mean, it's okay if you don't hit, because, I mean... Ugh. What's that? No. Ah, the dog was his um, com animal companion. Like, dog of Ekondayo. Yay, another dwell. Dwarven Helmet Shard. And the magical heavy shield. Let's see. Um, ooh, we leveled up. Didn't see that. Which kind of shield do you wear? I mean, you have a unjust much better than this. Okay, this will be <clears throat> a leveling up session then. Let's level up. Um, we are um, level an alchemist now, and we have a sneak attack for me now. It's really good. I mean, we really don't need to do this. Um, uh, So we need the two, of course. We need trickery, of course, and we need deception. And yeah, well, use device is not that good. All the the things we wear. <laughs> okay, uh, we can take a wait. Weapon focus. We have a. Uh, I think we have a uh, crop. Is it a heavy crossbow or a light crossbow? I really don't know. Probably a heavy crossbow. What does weapon focus do? Uh, choose one type of weapon. You can also choose unarmed strike, blah, 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 blah. You gain a plus one bonus on all attack rolls you make using the selected weapon. Okay, we we hit that with that. So, uh, can we just go back to our... Yeah. What do we use? A heavy, heavy, a light crossbow. Okay, we use a light crossbow. Then let's keep this. I mean, we do most of the damage only with the sneak damage, not with the crossbow itself. And this, 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 this. And our last one goes to trickery, or let's go. And we'll take the weapon focus for the crossbow. That's easy. And we get a spell, beast shape one, personal. You become a medium wolf. That's really not important. Terror, that's good and really great. But this is just on one and this is on a group. Yeah, let's take the haste because and also only Octavia has it right now and we don't take her very often with us.
Okay. Miri. How about... How about becoming a level 7 barbarian? What? Damage reduction. Yay! Hey, this is rather important for you because you are hit so easily. Okay, we'll take this too, of course. And law of nature because we'll do this. And I mean, I think we just stay here. We don't need anything else. We are not stealthy anyway, so point blank not. Why should we take this? Hammer focus back to back. Blind fight. Bull rush. What does this do? This feat gives the character an ability to perform the bull rush combat maneuver. It also grants a plus two bonus to CMD when performing this maneuver and a plus two bonus to CMD when defending against it. Bull rush attempts to push an opponent straight back without doing any harm. If your combat maneuver is successful, nah, without. Cleave. This looks nice. It's a standard action. You can make a single attack at your full base bonus against the foe within reach. If you hit, you deal damage normally and can make an additional attack using your full base bonus against the foe that is adjacent to the first one and also within reach. Hmm. Only make one additional attack per round with this feat. That's good. She's our monster. <laughs> I am yours to command. I've been taught if someone annoys you, you either pray or polish your armor. Mm, it is why my armor gleams as it does. Okay, let's take the level 7 for this fighter. We get, uh, what do we get here? Armor training plus starting at third level, blah 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 blah. More maneuverable while wearing armor. Whenever he's wearing armor, he reduces the armor check penalty by one. Ooh, reduce the armor check penalty by two now. Nice, and what's that? Tower shield training. Increases uh, the... So that's good. We lose less dexterity. I mean, we don't have dexterity. I mean, yeah, we have dexterity, but not enough. Okay, we'll take that because we can. <clears throat> and we'll take persuasion because we have. Someone must, must talk in our group, so <laughs> let's let her talk. No, we don't need point blank shot and weapon specialization. I want something with, like, no, not combat mobility. Get a plus four dodge bonus to armor class against attacks of opportunity. Nah. Although, hmm, she's normally running around and trying to get in the middle of everyone, so she also gets sometimes of opportunity. Hmm. What's in jewels? Plus two to athletics and plus four to yeah. Iron will. This is your will save. Hmm. Like this. This is a quick save, outflank, persuasive, power attack. Nah, we are we are fighting normally, defensively. 
I mean, we could take Elsie. <laughs> like she's the she's the one in a tin can. Yeah. Weapon for this. Intimidating prowess, meta magic, rapid shot, shield bat, shield bat. You may attack with light and heavy shields. This incurs standard penalties for two weapon fighting if you have a weapon in your other hand. Light shield deals 1d3 damage and is considered a light weapon. A heavy shield deals 1d4 damage and is considered a one handed weapon. I'm not sure if the tower shield is able to do the shield. Well, probably. We probably want the two handed fight first. Two weapon fighting. Dexterity 15. Ah, but nearly. We have 14. So we can take two weapon fighting soon. And then we will do the shield bash. Okay. Okay, until then. Precise. Oh, if Jeffel is provided, <laughs> ah, we can take it on the long sword. Skill of dealing damage, uh, type of weapon. We gain a plus two bonus on all damage rolls you make using this. Next. Complete. You. Level up. Let's take the cleric to the next level. Not level up. Eight and this part is all Nice. No, no, no. After level eight, we will think of probably giving you another class. Oh, what do we want to do? Like law religion, because we can. And you can't. You're not. You're not able to do anything else. That's terrible. So let's just do perception. Rather important. It's wisdom based. So spell focus. What can we? We have also already a spell focus on necromancy, so probably not doing this. What does alertness do? Oh, perception skill, combat casting. Hmm. We could do a, an elemental focus. Your spells of a certain elemental are used are more difficult to resist. Choose one energy type. Is it called electricity to a fire? Add plus one to the uh, endurance, exotic weapon proficiency, extra. Well, that's also nice. Hmm. To heal, heal the people in the group. I'm I'm not sure. I really I'm really not a fan of this meta magic. 
It's much too cold. <laughs> um, let me shake it off. Shield focus. Shield wall. Shield is caster. Hmm. Spell penetration. Your spells break through spell resistance more easily than most. Hmm. Select one spell. You cast that spell with greater than normal power benefit. Select one spell. The caster level as being too higher for all level variables effects of spell. Every time you gain a level in a spell casting, hmm, we could take like animate dead or call your bone shaker. Inflict wounds, ray of sickening. Hmm, hmm. Hmm. Nah. No, there's no, a, a tower shield proficiency as well. Probably the shield bash won't work with the tower shield. Hmm. Hmm. You receive all racial bonus on saving throws against spells and spell like abilities. Hmm. Extra time. Well, sorry. Uh, so let's just just do this. I can take the ray of Kening, why not? And there's no one there. Nothing here, but three more level four spell. Ooh, fear. Fan. Uh, an invisible cone of terror causes each living creature in the area to become frightened. Ah, yeah, that's a that's a good spell for <laughs> for collateral damage. <laughs> Okay, let's take it as a domain spell. <laughs> this is restoration is good. We will need this more often than we like. So let's let's take it once at least. Okay, critical wounds, death ward. What does death ward do? Plus four moral bonus and saves against death spell. Crusader's Edge. And one friendly creature within touch. When you cast a spell on melee weapon in your primary hand, you imbue it with a powerful holy energy, granting your primary weapon the Bane weapon quality against evil outsiders. Furthermore, whenever you score a successful critical hit against an outsider with the evil subtype, 
You not only deal normal critical damage with the weapon, but also nauseated rather for 1d3 rounds. Hmm, not so funny, I think. Summon monster 4, summon medium elemental. That's good as well. What's the dismissal? This is the opposite of summon elemental, I think. Yep. Uh, spit when venom. Spit stream of venom at the target using ring touch attack. If the venom hits, it causes blindness for one round. The target must also save to be blinded by black at the venom. DC in successive rounds on the poison is equal to the spell's DC. Hmm. <laughs> Divine power, what's that? I don't know. It's not too good. I mean, the Crusader is quite nice. It's quite a nice. And he's a. Uh, he's not the one who's doing dealing the damage, but who's helping others deal. Yeah, let's do it like that. Okay. The next two I will do on my own, in between episodes. We will see each other again soon, I hope. Until then, bye.